Waking Fright, both the film and the book, I think tap into very profound themes about Australia. It's a great story and it really does warrant retelling in a modern way. Well, you don't want a drink? Well, you can't drink. Mm. Yeah, just one, maybe. Dramatically, it's a really interesting story. The characters are amazing and it's about something and that, you know, provides really juicy material for, for actors to work with. Now about two up, do you? Once you look at the architecture of the story, a young, urban, urbane school teacher who considers himself completely stuck in the outback, hates it, just can't wait to get back to Sydney and the surf and his girlfriend, and then gets trapped in an outback town. Um, I mean, that's, that's still a great story now. I think one of the biggest themes of the book, of the film, and of Stephen's retelling especially, is just seduction. The seduction of alcohol, the seduction of women, the seduction of men, and the kind of wild side we have lying dormant in us. What time is it? A little bit after four. Four? Oh, I gotta get out of here. So we're really looking at the story through modern eyes. How much has Australia changed since since 1971 or 61 when the book was written? The film version of Kenneth Cook's novel, the characters in that are quite different from the characters in the book. So going back to the book, we can actually look at what the book's characters were like and, and it gives us a new way of looking at the cast. You know, as soon as they pull the pokies out of here, folks have got to amuse themselves somehow. Every generation needs to, I think, be reminded of their culture and of the fantastic rich culture that they have to draw from. So to me, the, these, whatever you want to call them, remakes or reimaginings, are, I think, a fantastic sign that we have this kind of, this, this property that is worth something. And I think that's incredibly exciting and incredibly positive. Yeah.